Hi, I'm Ellen Goldfinch, the Oatmeal Librarian, and today I'm going to give you some quick tips for using Google so that you can get the search results that you want. So it's important to know how Google finds web pages because you're going to get better results if you know. Google uses a software that they call Spiders that as soon as you put your web search in, it, in a matter of seconds, it goes looking through the internet for those words that you've put in your question. And it goes through each of those web pages and looks for the number of times that those words are used, thinking that the more words, the more precise the answer is to your question. Google also checks if those sites have been accessed a lot. So you always get websites that have been used very frequently. That explains why Wikipedia is always at the top of your list because it's the most popular website. So knowing that, it really is important to pick the right keywords to find the information that you want. And let's imagine that we have this question. We've heard that there was some old city in San Francisco Bay. We want to know what it was called. Well, before we do our search, let's keep these tips in mind. You should choose words that you'd like to see in your search results. They should be right to the point. They're important words that describe the answer that you want. You should think of alternative words, synonyms that mean much the same thing. And choose words that you think will appear on that page. And to do so, put yourself into the mindset of the person who wrote the web page. And that way, you will find the information that you want. And word order really matters. And I'm going to show you an example from two different web searches to prove that. I searched blue sky and my results were blue sky studios, images of a blue sky, and blue sky technologies. But let's reverse it. Let's search sky blue. And here we're getting the color sky blue with Wikipedia at the top, sky blue sky sandwich company, and answers to why the sky is blue. You can see those are two very different results. Now let's go back to our question. If we had just searched what was the old city in San Francisco called, well, we'll get the article in Wikipedia on San Francisco, as well as the history of San Francisco. We'll find reviews on restaurants in Old Town San Francisco, and we might find something on the founding of San Francisco from the museum. And if we just search Old City San Francisco in the middle here, you'll see much the same results. But here we got a bit more specific. We wrote in Ghost Town San Francisco. And now we're finding more of the kinds of answers that we want. We can see that there are a few sites here that show that Drawbridge, California is a ghost town in the San Francisco Bay Area. So you can see that our choice of words is very important to the answer that we get. Here's some handy tools that will also help you find more specific research results. You can use quotes when you're searching phrases or names, situations when you want words to be exactly in the order that you put them in. So for example, here I put in Eastern Township School Board so that I get information on that school board. And not all different schools in the Eastern Townships are boards of directors or anything like that. We don't want that. We want Eastern Township School Board. Once you have some really good websites, you can look for information within a web page by using either the Control and F key on your Windows computer or the Command F key on Apple computer. You press those two buttons at the same time, and it's like searching within a web page. You're Googling your web page. So, for example, if I wanted to find the word school in a web page, I could either press Control or Command F, 
and find all the different times that word is used. You can also use the asterisk, which is above the number eight, just, you know, shift eight and you'll get an asterisk. And you can search a variety of word endings. So if I search teen asterisk, I'll get teen, teens, teenager, and teenagers. And finally, the minus sign or dash, which is right near the plus sign in your at your top end of the keyboard, top right end, that will cut out websites that you don't want. So for example, this in red here, I've got baseball minus football. And if you type it in just that way with a space after the last L in baseball and no space between the dash and the F, it will cut out any websites that have the word football in it. Now, another way to do that is to use the advanced search to get more precise results. And you can do that, you can find the advanced search by clicking on this little gear box or flower, and uh, it will give you a drop down memory uh, menu, rather. You click on advanced search and you get this form. So you can see here, I would search baseball and not football. You can search phrases here. You can search in French if you needed to. And if I just wanted Canadian baseball, I could click here and put Canada. And if I wanted something within the last three months, I could indicate that under last update. It's important to evaluate the websites that you find for the accuracy and the reliability of the information and you can do that using who, what, when, where, why. So ask yourself who wrote or published the site. Is this person an expert? What is the information provided? Is it biased or opinionated? And is that information the same or different than other sites you found? Can you clearly understand what the author is saying? When was the site published? Has it been updated? Sometimes it's important that the information for you is current. Where did the author get the information from? Are there links or citations? Links to reliable information sources. Why should you use this site as opposed to another information source? Is there another better website or a book? Always be prepared to do another search. And this is a good way to compare whether the information on one website is correct by seeing if it's the same as the other websites that you found. Finally, be a good digital citizen. And you can do this by always telling where you got your information from with a citation. Use quotation marks when you copy and paste. And again, cite your source. And use Creative Commons to find music, videos, images that can be freely shared. If you'd like more information on how to improve your Google skills, go to powersearchingwithgoogle.com, which is where a lot of this information is.